dependent or cascading drop-down menus are frequently used in database-driven websites. The color menu is disabled until a choice is made in the product menu. And changing the selection in the first menu changes the values in the second. Often the options in a menu depend on current stock levels, so it's necessary to send the selected value to query a database. When you load the options for the dependent menu from a static text file, the jQuery utility get method takes just two arguments like this. The location of the text file and an anonymous function to handle the response. In this example, the location of the static text file is created from the name of the folder, data, plus the variable cell, which is the selected value, and then .txt, which is the file name. So if the selected value is t-shirt, it looks for t-shirt text in the data folder. And t-shirt text contains the HTML which will replace the original options in the select menu. When working with a database, you need to send a variable containing the selected value to your server-side script. The script will then query the database and return the currently available values. So for example, let's say I'm working with a PHP script, which is in the data folder, and it's called get colors. PHP. To send the selected value to the PHP script, I need to create a data object and pass that as the second argument to the get method. It goes between the URL of the page that I am calling and the anonymous response function. So to create the data object, I'm going to use an object literal an opening curly brace followed by the property name, which I'll call product, followed by a colon, and the value that will be applied to product, which is this cell variable, S-E-L, and then a closing curly brace. And of course I need another comma in there to separate the arguments. Because the method is called get, it sends this data object as a name-value pair through a query string. So let's say that the selected value is t-shirt. This is the equivalent of adding a query string at the end of this URL, like this. The query string after the question mark product equals t-shirt. As I say, it's the equivalent of doing that, but when you're using the get method, you don't put the query string there. You need to create this data object. And of course, the data object can contain several properties. In this case, I'm just using one. Now, I don't have a database set up, but I've created this PHP page, which checks the get array to see if the product variable has been set. If it has, it then creates an array depending on which value has been selected as the product. This for each loop generates the necessary HTML to populate the options of the second menu. And the type of output would be equivalent to this. But instead of these arrays that I have here, you would normally query a database to find the current values. And if you were using HTML, you would use echo or print to output the HTML, which would then be sent to the other page and received by the function that handles the response. So to populate dependent or cascading drop-down menus using a database, you need to create a data object to send the selected value to a server-side script. The server-side script queries the database, builds the HTML option tags, and outputs them as text. Finally, the response function replaces the existing options with the results from the database. It sounds like a long process, but it usually takes a fraction of a second.